hello everyone and welcome to the Cheaters. Um, as you can see, I have a different chateau tonight, I have a different background, and I wanted to come to you guys because it's long overdue. I was supposed to do this uh, <laughs> a week ago, but you know how life is now with the new normal with COVID and all those different things. And so I had a lot going on that I was not able to post. However, I am able to post tonight. So let's get it going, shall we? Fibroids. Fibroids, what are they? Fibroids are a non-cancerous growth that um, composes of muscle and fibrous tissue that occurs in the walls of the uterus. Now, sometimes it may not always be in the uterus. Sometimes they have a situation where it can be outside the uterus, on the backside. Um, I've even known some ladies that I've spoken with that said they've had it in their digestive tract on the backside, like by the intestines area, on the backside of the uterus, like this is the front of the uterus, and on the backside here they'll have it. So, um, um, one thing that I found very interesting is that it's really common in African American women over the age of 35. Um, and they're trying to say that it's due to the extra estrogen that we have in our body, excessively, it's excessive estrogen. Um, and it, it, it also links down into the melon food that we have that we produce. Um, also, that uh, makes the estrogen in excess. Um, also, they won't. Um, I'm sorry, because I had to do some other things today, so I'm kind of like all over the place with my thoughts. Um, the cause is unknown, though. How, like, why do they even appear, except for the fact that they're trying to link it with extra excess of extra estrogen. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you about today was some things that you can do that would actually um, help to prevent, or should I say preventative measures that will help you to, um, preventative measures that will kind of help you to shrink the fibroid or to prevent them from even coming. If you're a person that's old, um, between 20 and 30, like I said, this is most common. It happens in women in that age group as well, but it's more common when you're over 35. So, with that being said, one of the things that you can do is add garlic. Garlic is a really good thing. I mean, people use it as a herb. They use it in their cooking. They use it for all sorts of things, but like high blood pressure and the other things. But it also is a good one for the fibroids. It's a, it acts as an anti you know it's an antioxidant, so it helps to shrink them because of that that uh, feature that it has inside of the oils of the garlic. Uh, foods that are rich in beta carotene or like carrot that's the main one that always comes to mind but there are other vegetables as well but carrots is the main one that uh, discussing with some of my peers that was um, agreed upon that existed that we had. so carrots is a great source for shrinking due to the beta carotene um, foods that are rich in iron. And I noticed that a lot of times if you've looked at the vitamins that they have for men and then they have the vitamins that they have for women, do you notice that the men are not required to have iron? I don't know if it's because men have a more uh, serious muscle mass uh, or, or their muscle mass is more dense than ours. I don't know exactly what that is, any of my medical people out there, if you could just inbox me, let me know um, if, if I'm saying that right or not. I don't know if it's because of the muscle that's denser than women's muscle, but I know we have a little bit more fat in certain areas to be prepped for childbirth, like for having children. But anyway, we don't have, we require iron, but they don't. They don't have to have iron. There, if you look on the back of a man's multivitamin thing, it won't even, it'll have on there iron not required or something like that, or use iron 0% or something like that. Um, fish. 
with all the things that are going on in the ocean and stuff like that, the fish and the, uh, excuse me, any kind of fish would be very good. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It's late. It's, it's 1230 midnight. Um, but because of the mercury concept that's in the water these days, um, yeah, but they, they say that the fish, like salmon, is a tuna, some of those uh, white, uh, they uh, decrease inflammation in the uh, in that area. It, it, it keeps it kind of tight, and right? It won't. It decreases the chances of inflammation that is due to the flare up of the fibroids to get larger or what have you. So it kind of helps with that. And, um, which I found interesting when I did this, look into it, there is an herb, it's called chaseberry or chasberry. I talked about that in my um, fertility, uh, my fertility blog. I talked about this. And chasberry is a very good feminine, feminine, <laughs> Um, herb for women. It helps regulate everything in that area. Um, I always tell people to be mindful of using it because if you're not in, if not expected to have any children, um, it does um, help you to ovulate because what it does is it balances all the hormones in an area. It balances off the insulin, which insulin regulates um, ovulation for egg to be released. Um, so you want, when it levels all of that off, if you're not a person that wants any kids, just uh, be very precaution, uh, use precaution when taking it. But Chaz Tree or Vitex, that's another word they call it, is Vitex. It helps to shrink it because what it does, like I said, it balances the hormones um, and, 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 and directly focuses on that area, the uterus, the ovaries, the cervix, all of that it, it, it entails under the Vitex. So, um, yes, this would be uh, very good in using for the five point shrinkage. But also, um, just like I said, use precaution because you could wind up pregnant because that's what it's known for. That's how I had my daughter using the Vitex. Um, Omega 3 fatty acids, I mentioned the fish. But if you are a person that might be allergic to fish, you can use the omega-3 fatty acid um, or uh, free-range eggs as well. The, when they say free-range, I guess they mean the eggs that are grown, uh, what have you. Uh, they're not locked up in the cages, they're just eating them right like the wind. Um, but yeah, the omega-3 fatty acids are uh, also a good one because you know that uh, it's a, it'll um, attack uh, the, the uh, free radicals. You know how that goes. And it helps with not only helping to shrink the fibroids, but it also will help you with cholesterol levels, maybe even improve your blood pressure. So you kill two birds with one stone if you chose to do that. Now, the gluten free grains like brown rice, buck wheat those kind of things, they help as well. Um, a lot of people, we've been, been, been raised on using cane, sugar cane sugar, we've been raised on using uh, white bread, white rice, um, just everything, and they're bleached. And so the only thing that's left is some starch and maybe some other trace of minerals. But when they bleach those things, the stuff they used to bleach those things to make them those kind of colors, it actually causes more damage to the body than, than, than good. Especially white rice. What do you do with rice when you cook it? You cook the white rice by adding water. What does that do to the rice? It swells. So when it gets inside your body, it does the same thing. When it adds to the food in your body, your stomach, it swells. It stretches your stomach. If it stretches your stomach, it makes you eat more. If you eat more, you gain weight. So just think about that. That was just a sidebar. But yes, brown rice, but buckwheat, <laughs> um, and uh, gluten-free oats. That's another one. Those help with 
preventative measures of shrinking. I'm not saying that's a total cure-all. Remember now, always my disclosure is check with your physician when um, asking about these things. Don't just go out and do it. You don't want to. You don't want it to contradict with anything that you're taking. For example, if you are taking a blood pressure medication and you decide to go out and get one of the things I said in my high blood pressure blog, the high, uh, the red root, the, the red rice. <clears throat> um, I, I always get it mixed up. The red rice or the red rice. But you decide to get that and you take that along with your blood pressure medication, it will drop your pressure tremendously low. So don't go out and get those things because they have the same properties. That, that red rice has the same properties as the blood pressure medication that you're taking. So that's a good example to why you need to consult your physician before you start doing any of these things. Um, it's very important that you do so. And in, um, and, and I think that's about pretty much what I wanted to talk about. Just some things that can help you either prevent or, uh, or pre prevent any fibroids from showing up or to shrink them if you had any. Um, it's been found, documented with these different types of foods I mentioned, that it has worked. But I don't want you to go out and just get it because I said it now. But do your research, and then if you see it's something that's for you, consult your physician to ask him to help you with the regime to set up so that you can get started. Um, I think that's all I have to talk about for tonight for my The G Nurse page. And I wanted to just let you know that my weight, weight loss is going well. I can tell you about that. Um, I have had a real debacle with foods and I'm learning what to eat, what I can't eat, what I need to stay away from. Certain things that I used to eat before, I really don't even like now, which is really weird. But um, I'm a fan of certain things, like a good grilled cheeseburger, and I just can't eat it anymore. I tried to take a bite when I was able to start back, because I can start back eating regular food. And I tried to take a bite the other day and chew and chew and chew and chew. And the bread, well, it wasn't bread, because I took the bun off. But the hamburger bun, and I had the lettuce and tomatoes and stuff on top. I chewed and 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 it just became a big ball of whatever it is because I think it was it, it, it must have been mixed with other things because it didn't even taste like hamburger at no point so I just put it down now I can still do certain seafood like the uh, snow crab leg and um, fish shrimp okay but I can only eat about four or five of them uh, but yes, this, this journey that I'm on is quite interesting, quite, quite, quite interesting. That's all I can say about that. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to hold up much more of your time. I am um, just up and I said I hadn't vlogged in about a week or so. I need to let my viewers see what I'm up to lately. So anyway, with that being said, I want to... Thank you for viewing and watching and inboxing me with those questions. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. All questions. I want them. Keep them coming. Anything that you have a question of or anything you need to ask, please feel free to inbox me in my box. And when I see it, I will make every effort to try and relate to what the issue is that you are having that I could probably help with in any way I can. Herbal. Or herbal. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's late, y'all. Herbal. <laughs> Herbally. Or by phone call. Just let me know uh, what I can do that I may assist you with. And this has been the D-Jerk. <laughs> oh my gosh, I must be super sleepy. This has been the, <laughs> the G-Nurse signing out saying, remember, always be auspicious. Have a good night. Bye-bye.